Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video, we will have a look at the Comtech Stinger 2. It's a self defense tool. Uh, the design is from James Keating. Uh, some of you may remember that name. He was or he is pretty famous in self defense. And uh, this is a self defense manipulator, as they call it. It's basically a simple uh, injection molded polymer device. We see that it fits the hand uh, relative nice. We also have a hole there for lanyard or you can put it on the keychain as well. Uh, this is the made in USA version as we see there by the engraving and uh, this item is still made and still sold. Uh, the original I would say was uh, in the 90s or yeah early early 2000 uh, quite likely designed uh, I remember back then as I was first time in USA uh, to see how it uh, goes in USA how the, the life is in USA I did fly to Atlanta and then to San Diego and there I found my first tactical knives a magazine and in that magazine was also an article about James Keating and the website and uh, uh, about uh, that device I learned from that side uh, that was uh, in the late 90s or mid 90s as I was over there first time so it's quite a quite a while and uh, the item is still made in different colors and black you can see that on the website or if you uh, google it Comtech Stinger 2 it should show up so what we have is a uh, basically a Kuboton uh, pressure point kind of device we have uh, a point here that is not not a uh, sharp or too pointy at all it gives you uh, I would say about six millimeter of a of a pressure point, a uh, relative a strong pressure point. We see those four ribs there, so the, the whole uh, design of the item is sturdy. I don't think you can uh, uh, hit uh, that hard that the item actually would break. It's a, a solid made uh, polymer design and you basically hold it if you want like this. You can also of course uh, get it out of the middle that you have it between the, the fingers that's up to you uh, I mainly use it on top here to have uh, a bit more more uh, leverage on the on the point there but uh, that's up to you uh, the, the trigger part you could also hold like that but I would not do that because you need uh, a top finger one finger here and one finger there and the flat of course is like a, a knuckle duster against the palm here so you get a good good uh, grip and can actually use it it's also relative small and uh, if you get a version uh, that has a, a bit of different different color maybe a lighter color or if you paint this one in a in a tan so it would not even uh, look, uh, show itself in a, in a different color, so it would be not that easy to uh, spot if that thing would be in a tan color. Now there were also uh, Kydex sheets and other things made for it over time. Uh, that maybe is no longer available, I'm not sure, but uh, of course you could uh, carry that uh, with a Kydex as well. Uh, since there is no a sharp edge or any metal on it uh, it doesn't show up by metal detectors in that regard there is no metal metal on it there is nothing that would uh, cut uh, on that item uh, either so yeah that's just as a additional information now how did I finally end up with that item I did look at that for years uh, on and off and uh, 
Yeah, the other day I did go to our local thrift store to support the animals there. Uh, that uh, uh, thrift store is uh, for the uh, like a, like an animal shelter is connected to that thrift store there. So uh, from time to time I go and check a bit out what all they have and and uh, yeah, this time I had to laugh because on one of the of the shelves uh, this item did sit with a price tag on it they had no idea what that is I did ask them uh, so they charged me one US dollar for it uh, the regular price is about eight or nine dollars as best as I remember still not bad for eight nine dollar but uh, yeah for a dollar of course I had to rescue it and uh, put it in my collection and in my my uh, study and all that so yeah funny story it's amazing what you can find by thrift stores in USA and most often also for a cheap price so thanks to James Keating for designing it and uh, that is my video about the Comtech Stinger 2